I just want to say that she said, play this safe. And I said, but what if I didn't? It was a mistake. Oh no. Guys, <laughs> I, I told you. Back everyone to another episode of Battle of the Beans, the show where four baristas compete in a series of mystery challenges. I am your host Ashifa, and I'm your other host Caro, and welcome back to our wonderful baristas Addison, Josh, Kimia, and Marissa. Woo. Hey, hello, hello. All right, everyone. This week it's a latte art challenge. You will be pouring four patterns: a heart, a rosetta, a tulip, and barista's choice. But, for disclosure, this ain't your mama's latte art challenge. You will also be pouring into three different cup sizes from Acme and a fourth vessel that we've surprised the baristas with, a soup ladle. You will also be using beautiful custom pictures from our friends over at Slowball. And if you at home want a chance to win one of these pitches, stay tuned to the end of the episode to find out how. Each round, we will spin the wheel and leave your latte art fortunes to chance. So unlike a normal knockout style tournament, you're each going to be competing in all four rounds of this competition, with the winner of each round receiving two points and the runner up receiving one point. So the barista at the end of the competition with the most points is going to win. Helping us judge today, we have someone we first met back in 2018 in Portland at the beginning of the Barista League's USA Tour, which feels like a lifetime ago now. Please welcome everyone's favorite internet barista, Morgan Eckroth of Morgan Drinks Coffee. Welcome! Woo -woo -woo. Hey. Well, hi everyone, super excited for this, uh, and I'm very excited to see what you end up pouring, especially in that soup ladle. As far as judging goes, I will be first and foremost looking for symmetry, contrast, and complexity of your pores. All things that I'm terrible at. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baristas, round one, time to spin the wheel. So for round one, baristas, you'll be pouring a tulip into your mug. Let's go. Excited. Oh my gosh, latte art gives me so much stress. I'm kind of sad about this one, but it's done. All right, Addison, you're first. This is my tulip pour. It's all right, it's all right. This is my tulip pour in my mug. Kimia, I would drink that in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> this really is stressing me out and I don't know why. Um, here is here is my tulip pour. Beautiful. Marissa, oh, it's so wow. good. I, ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> These all look amazing. These look so, and this is this is with oat milk too, correct? Mm. Yes. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's tight. It's hard. These are all beautiful. There's a lot of gorgeous contrast in here, which is like with oat milk, that is that is a that is a good thing to get. Everyone, we've all got multiple stacks. We're all full to the brim. Okay, Morgan, what is your final judgment? All right, after some long deliberation, because these are all beautiful, I'm going to give one point to Marissa. Yay! Beautiful tulip, absolutely stunning. Uh, you had beautiful layers and I was able to see the contrast in between each single one, which is fantastic. And then for two points, I've got to give it to Addison. The symmetry on that Ooh. was gorgeous. You again had multiple layers. It was super clear what it was. You were full to the top. Very and good. I saw it before we had a little jostle. So I'm counting it before <laughs> the jostle happened. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So a massive, massive well done to Marissa for scoring one point from the last round and to Addison for scoring two points from the last round. We're really looking forward to seeing how this progresses. All right, everyone, it's time for round two, which means we're going to spin the wheel. All 
All right, baristas, for round two, you're going to be pouring your barista's choice into your espresso cup. Yes. Let's Come get on. frothing. <laughs> <laughs> if you are doing something difficult, just play it safe for yourself. Oh God. Oh God. I just want to say that a sheep has said, play this safe and I said but what if I didn't it was a mistake <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see it <laughs> oh um, crumbs what have I done <laughs> oh no guys <laughs> I, I, I told you it's time for the big reveal um this is what we're working with so so what happened was I said I can fit a slow zeta in a macchiato cup right oh I couldn't but I tried <laughs> <sighs> Just know that I'm on this show for entertainment value. Here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, just let me explain this thought process. <laughs> what is going I was, on? I was trying. <laughs> Don't say what's going on. This is oh, so sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. So I was, I was trying to do a double little, uh, like a what do you call oh. it, like a wreath. I was trying to do yes. a wreath. But I messed the first oh. one up, and then I got sad, and the second one. I'm going to take you on a trip here. You can fly again, and you decided to fly to the beautiful Caribbean. And while you're there, you're like, hey, let's take a dip. Let's go into the water. Seaweed is always greener. Whatever the song is. Anyways, we're underwater, and you stumble upon a beautiful shell in which you are definitely gonna find a pearl, and around this beautiful shell are just some nice, easy, flowing seaweed. I show you a shell and you seaweed. You got all that into a cup, that's crazy. <laughs> wow, <laughs> yes. that's so good. Yes. I was talking to someone about latte art recently and how I'm not necessarily a big fan of it. So I really just went for contrast here and not complexity. And we were joking about like doing like circles. So I tried to do a circle. Um, that's it. <laughs> and it's a perfect circle. It's, a moon. it's so tidy. Why do oh, you it's an immaculate God. circle. Yeah. All right, so for our number one, our runner up, um, I'm gonna give it to Kimia. I think you have some very nice contrast. Um, your backstory, I will say, I think I'm I'm counting your backstory into your complexity points. I think you painted a beautiful picture and I think you delivered on it as well. Oh, I think and you. then for our two points, um, I have to really respect the strategy of the circle. So I'm gonna give the two points to Marissa. It was incredibly clean. It was contrast just all the way there and it looked exactly like you said it would. And contrary to what some people might think maybe haven't poured latte art before, like a simple circle is a lot harder than you think it is. Amazing work everyone. And that means that Marissa is in the lead on three points. So she's the one to beat going forward. You know what time it is. It is time to spin the Wheel. Brisses, you will be pouring a heart into a five ounce cappuccino cup. It's go time. My tips for hearts are keep it simple. I think a heart is a beautiful thing on its own. And I think really the key to it is getting that perfect symmetry between both sides. Um, there are times where I will even prefer a heart latte art design over like a tulip or something really like, complicated just because if you can get that like perfect symmetry on both of those, you know, really nice arches, I think it's just, it's just choice. So this is, this is my heart. I mean, I feel pretty good about the symmetry. The contrast is pretty good. I wish that it were, it were a little bit less like a butt back here, but you know. Here we go. There we go. Oh, it's cute. Oh. It is very, very cute. I hope you like it. I hope it tastes delicious and I hope you have a great day. Enjoy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh yum. Yeah. Oh. I see. Good. Oh, crumbs. Yes, come here. Hell yeah. All right. That is, yes. that is a crisp draw through you've got there. Okay, uh, here's my heart. 
Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Adorable. All right, so for our one point pour, and I, I do want to preface that all of these pours, I think this is the closest out of all the rounds. These all look fantastic, but if I have to pick my top two favorites, I'm gonna give one point to Marissa. I think that was a very, very gorgeous, very full, very symmetrical, round, fluffy heart that I really, really liked. And then if I have to give out my two point, I'm gonna give it to Kimia. Um, I really liked the amount of complexity Very you put in there. You, you went the extra mile with that second layer, and I think it worked really well, as well as your heart being very symmetrical and very centered in your cup. My heart is so full right now. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> well done, Kimia, for scoring two points this round, and Marissa for scoring one point this round. Josh, I don't know about you, but you might be able to make a comeback uh, in the final round. Um, but I may like... be able to make a comeback. <laughs> Thanks to this week's video partner, Pacific Foods Barista Series. When you have a line of products called Barista Series, it doesn't exist without baristas and coffee professionals. We need your help in envisioning what the future can be. Okay, Baristas, it is the final round and it's shaping up to be quite a close call. So I'm really excited to see who's going to take out this challenge. Who's it gonna be? Let's find out. Baristas, as you've probably guessed, there's only two options left. This round, you're pouring a Rosetta into the soup ladle. Josh, don't worry, you can do this. It's not too little, oh, I too don't worry. ladle. <laughs> oh, but it's... <laughs> okay, now the question is, oh no, I don't wanna, I, there's coffee all over my chair. Am I gonna sit in coffee? <gasps> I'm just gonna stand here until we're ready. Cool, so this is what we got. I see the leaves, I see your heart on the top. I decided not to pour holding the handle and I held the ladle and I did oh. burn my hand. Is... There we go. Wow. Oh. oh, it's oh, gorgeous. Gosh. Josh, oh yes. Oh, look at those leaves. So I just want to say something. I don't know if anyone noticed, but a second ago, my machine made a noise which scared the sh out of me. Oh, mother. Oh, mother. But um, yeah, that is a very nice looking Rosetta. It's not good. I can't do Rosettas, but it's fine. It's the best that I could do in my mind. And that's oh. all we're asking for. It's like this. Cute. That looks great! Wow. Beautiful. That is so good. So we have Addison on two points, followed by Kimia on three points, and Marissa on four points. Josh has yet to score, but anything is possible. For my number one point, so the person who's getting one point and the runner up for this one, I'm giving it to Kimia. I think you had a very, very nice looking Rosetta. It was very full and round and you had that very distinct shape of the kind of, the, the long part of the Rosetta was pulled back very nicely away from the rest of your wreath. I think you had some really nice inclusion in the leaves and it was very symmetrical. So I'm gonna give the one point to Kimia. Thank the you. tricky part now was coming up with the person who was going to get two points. So the way I decided this was, first of all, I wanted to be able to see those leaves in the Rosetta because that's one of the very, very defining factors of the Rosetta pattern. So the person that I chose had very defined leaves with inclusion of that like darker espresso color inside. This person also had a really nice sem symmetrical base that wrapped all the way around and you were also able to see the very different parts of the pour coming from that base and also that draw through pulling back and then all the way through this was overall i think my favorite of the rosettas and i'm gonna give it to josh <gasps> yes <Woo>! yes josh <laughs> <laughs> you killed it. his leaves really took it for you <laughs> yes josh josh what are you gonna do now <laughs> He's going to Disney World. Cry. <laughs> Don't worry, Josh. We wouldn't leave you behind. 
Thank you. I am honoured. <laughs> I will never use that skill ever again in my life, pouring into a ladle, but I'm glad I could do it this time. You should use it, Put it on the rest of future men. job interviews. <laughs> exactly. Well, for the first time so far in the history of this show... Josh has got a point. We have... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Josh has got a point. <laughs> No, but we have a tie not only for first place, but also second and third place as well. So congratulations, <laughs> Marissa and Kimia, who have taken out this week's challenge on four points each. Well Good work. done. Good work. Great work. Yeah. Good job, work. everyone. And in a tied second place, we have Addison and Josh. Well done. Yeah, Josh. Woo! 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 <laughs> nice work, Addison. You as well. Okay. And a really, really big thank you to Morgan for judging this week's challenge. Morgan, thank you so much for your time. Where, if people, I mean, if people don't already know, where can people find you? I am Morgan Drinks Coffee on pretty much every platform that I'm active on, uh, which right now is YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, if you want to check out the weird random videos I make. And if you, first at home, or anyone who's watching at home, want to win one of the custom slow pour milk pitchers used in today's episode, all you need to do is show us how small you can fall. Head to the Bruce League website for all of the info. And we will see you all right back here for another episode in two weeks time. Make sure you have your post notifications turned on so that you can be the first to know when a new episode drops. Happy brewing! We're doing the jazz hands now. <laughs>